Hey guys, thank you for watching Creator Owned. I'm going to do a quick video this week. Uh, I'm just going to try and cut straight to it. I'm going to do an instructional video on how to make a speech dialogue box for a comic strip. Really basic, and I just want to get it done because I hate people who take their time on instructional videos. So let's get to it. Hey, down here. Okay, so pretty basic situation is I have a comic panel that I commissioned from an artist uh, for an upcoming one-page story. And I didn't realize that the artist doesn't do lettering. So we're just going to do a, a few quick touch-ups uh, here in Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do is check out the spot healing brush, which is this icon right here. You can actually just do this and make those lines go away and blend with the page. Super easy, quick fix. Uh, just something to... You know, erase some of the, the pencil sketch line art. So now we're going to get into doing the text. Uh, I went and I found a font called Back Issue BB. It's pretty easy to find fonts, actually. Um, Dafont.com and Blambot were both really good. And they had just free downloadable fonts. You can install it, like, in no time. So I found this font that is just, like, good standard comic book font and my cat is sitting really close to my keyboard so I hope she won't attack me uh, she bit me uh, like creator owned on Facebook really simple thing and so something I learned is you typically want to try and get things to be like a word bubble shape so we have a font, you know, it fits. It actually, uh, surprisingly, look, well, it looks pretty sketch. So now we're going to head over here to the ellipse tool. And we're just going to make it, you know, some kind of shape that fits. Uh, layer it so that it's actually on top of the dialogue. And then go back to the ellipse. Select the ellipse. Change the size of the line to be complementary to... The size of the font that looks good just by uh you know eyesight hit control and now we have some options so we can just tweak the size of our word bubble you could do other things like Ugh, you know <laughs> but uh that fits really well already and uh i was kind of hoping to have more to say about that <laughs> so now we're gonna hit the pen tool and this is a really cool trick uh which took some trial and error, <laughs> unfortunately. Select the lips. Okay, click here inside of the box. And now bring it to the character's mouth. And then get back inside of the box. And now it closes. So now we have essentially, you know, the beginnings of this. Go ahead and click here on the path of the line. Hold control, click and drag. And just add a little bit of curvature. And we're going to do that again here. Okay, now it looks good. And last but not least, we go up here to uh, Path Operations, hit Combine Shapes, boom, there it goes. No more, uh, it's all one big thing like Creator Owned on Facebook. We made that in just a few seconds, and I'll be able to do that the whole thing and not have to uh, pay someone else to do it. So yeah, guys, that was the, the pretty quick tutorial there on how to make a word bubble and it took me a little you know probably 30 minutes to figure out and hopefully this video will be even shorter for you uh thanks for tuning in i know it was a short video there's more on the way and uh you know stay tuned to creator own find us on youtube subscribe like us on facebook and have a great day